today we are at a new marsh well it's not really new i've been to this marsh before but it's actually a different launch location and a different part of the marsh that i've been to if that makes any sense but today we're going to target redfish redfish and redfish using a couple of new lures i want to show you when i get on the water thank you so much for clicking on the video make sure you like this video and also make sure you comment leave some comments let me know what you're thinking good or bad i read everything but yeah we're gonna get our kayaks out in the water and see if we can have a good day all right here we go we're off the bat three feet from the bank not too bad all right since i've never actually fished this part of the marsh I'm gonna do what I know best is target structure, which is gonna be the grass line and drains like this one right here. Right off the bat, I see a lot of debris and some bait down there, five feet. Not too bad, we're gonna cast right here, see if we can hook up early in the morning. Now, I think I'm gonna to do top water in just a minute, but I'm gonna throw this bug's trout thumper right here. That sounds like lightning and thunder, man. Super shallow here, oh my gosh, it's so shallow. The autopilot's handling it good. Still got the motor down. Let's lift her up just a little bit. That might have been a redfish right there. I just spooked. So if anything, they're gonna be lying in this mud since it's pretty, pretty shallow here. So we just gotta get lucky and throw it right in their face. Yeah, that was a red right there. Dang it. <laughs> what was that? Might have been a redfish attacking something there. <laughs> the fish just went airborne. <laughs> There we go. Oh, he let go. I have a dull hook on this, man. The trout thumper. The hook is dull, though. But that was a nice red. Let's see if we can get him again. He's over here. All right. Gonna start throwing the Guggen baits. I wanted to use that trout thumper, but I need to sharpen the hooks. The heart, the, sh the hook on that trout thumper is dull, and I just lost that redfish. So I'm gonna try this right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, two hour update. It's been dead slow. I put eyes on three redfish so far. I had my opportunity on the first one earlier in the day, but lost them. It's been slow, man. Just been really grinding it out. This backpack lake is super, super shallow. Hopefully um, I'll be able to catch one keeper. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep on keeping my line weight, making sure my lure is in the water. The redfish are actually here. They're not here in big numbers, but they're here. They are deep in the mud. Uh, just chilling in the mud and you have to be lucky you have to throw the lure right in their face or you'll see an occasional blow up here and there and you'll throw in that direction hopefully you'll be able to intercept them i'm gonna keep grinding it man it's it's a it's a beautiful day it's getting hot now water temps around 86 degrees yeah this new marsh is it's massive man that's how we get a car back here that's for sure oh dang that was a fish what was that Let's see if I can stand up and see anything. Whatever it was, dumped it pretty hard. There we go. That's a big gar. <laughs> oh man, I knew it. Alligator gar. <laughs> man, do not take my lure, my friend. Do not take my lure. <laughs> Gosh, these guys. Well, he's not a big dude. Well, we gotta get him off fast before he takes my lure. Oh, 
Yeah, they're harmless, but dang, look at those teeth. Do not want to mess with this guy. Open wide, brother. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll probably retie, man. He probably tore that up. Yep, freighted are really nice. All right, my friends, we're gonna go with the curl tail now. And we are throwing every single lure that we have. It's been one of those days, man. I'm telling you what, you're lucky to catch one. If you catch one fish, that's a really good day today. As I stated earlier, I love this curl tail because it imitates a crab. It's good to sight cast, has a rattles. It's just a good redfish lure. Trout and flounder love it too. There we go. Wow, I got so lucky there. Wow, <laughs> that's a big red. Oh my God, so lucky. So, so lucky. Finally catch a decent fish. She just came and got the curl tail. That's what they wanted. Oh my God, he's a donkey. This is gonna be a big dude. Holy smoke. I will take it, man. I will take it. Grinding it all morning long. Oh my gosh, he's a big dude. Another one right there. Holy smoke, there's a couple of reds in here. Right there, there's another one. So, huh, strange. I've been searching long and far and they're, they're like right here in this back lake that I totally missed. <laughs> He's gonna be a big dude. Get the net ready. I don't wanna lose this fella here. Oh my God. Gosh, he is putting the freaking ultralight to the test, folks. Without a doubt. It's locking the place so we won't spook everything else. Whoo! That's a big fish. That's a big red. I got you, buddy. I got you. Come on in here. On oh, the bugs curl tail, man. Dude, that's a big fish. He might be over slot. Got him. Oh my God, it's a big fish. Whoa. Whoo. <laughs> oh my God, that's a huge fish. My God, look at that fish, guys. That's a giant. <laughs> Holy smoke. Definitely an overslot. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> oh, on the curl tail there. Can you see it? I don't want to lose them right there. Curl tail. Curl tail, black and gold. Used every single lure, but the curl tail is the one I paid off. <laughs> My God, that's a giant. <laughs> he is 11 pound, 11 pound redfish. 29 and a quarter inch, pretty much. 29 quarter inch, 11 pound gargantua. <laughs> she is a big one. There she goes. There she goes, strong. Oh man. What a day, gentlemen. Grinding it for about four and a half, almost five hours and finally caught a monster. Switched it up to a curl, curl tail from bugs, a black and gold. That was the answer, man. I'm super happy. That's so funny, man. I, I went super, super as back as far as I can till it ends in this marsh. And I was heading back to the launch and there's a little lake that I actually didn't even bother to check out three four reds here just hiding how i know is because when i was fighting that bull red all these other mud clouds started happening that's only for redfish so we want to stay here a little bit longer maybe we can catch one more who knows but if not i'm super happy There we go, another one. Yeah, it's another red, new one. Dang, they want this curl, so I'm so glad I changed. 
That's gonna be another good slot. Another red right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, dude, I am so happy. God, dude, two reds back to back in a span of less than 10 minutes, man. You can't make that script up, folks. I'm telling you what, it's been a grinder all day. This is gonna be a smaller end red, smaller end slot, but I don't care. <laughs> they sure they've got a lot of fighting them today. <laughs> oh gosh, I love redfish and the skinny water. The curl tail. Once again, guys, I know I'm repetitive, but the curl tail is what saved the day today. I'm telling you what. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's gonna be one of those table table fair reds that are absolutely delicious to eat. Golly, thank you, Heath, for making such a phenomenal lure. The curl tail. <laughs> Check that out, man. I cannot tell you what, dude. These reds absolutely destroy that curl tail. He's probably about 22, maybe close to 23 inches, but nonetheless, that's number two for today. Super, super happy. Those rattles make a huge difference. There you go, buddy. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my God, what a day, what a day. I can call it quits, man. You know, two fish is good enough for me. Let's just go home now. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got back home from fishing. What a day on the water, but we just got a new package from, you guessed it, Japan. From our friends at Digitaka, let's see exactly what they sent the channel today. All right, man, I've been telling you guys all along, getting a package in August is like Christmas in the summer, man. All right, here we go. Look what we have here, guys. <laughs> man oh my gosh it's another reel with some more braided line nice 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 oh my gosh dude wow check this out Digitaka really hooked it up with another bait casting reel this is the Daiwa Steez CTSV TW 700XHL mini left hand version. Ooh, wow, this is one of their high ends. This is in line with their BFS reels, the Steez Air. This is just a hair bit bigger than the Steez Air TW that I also own. Oh, wow, we got the X Braid. This is a high quality braided line from Japan. The brand is called X Braid. This is the number eight, meaning it's the type of thread that they use. Uh, 0.8 diameter, 16 pounds. Can you believe that? 16 pounds of test with 0.8 diameter. I mean, I'm talking about it is microscopic. This is the type of line that you want to use for these type of reels when you throw the mi micro lures, the, the BFS type concept. I mean, gosh. This is awesome. I'm really looking forward to using this branded line. I've never used this before, but I've heard many, many good things about X Braid here and the packaging is superb. Now these Japanese, they know how to make some products. I'm telling you what. Okay, look what we got here. We got some new tools from Digitaka. These are some nice small little miniature pliers. I think these will come in handy. It's also a split ring plier right there. But uh, really nice. You can buy this also from Digitaka. And some small little scissors right here. These will come in handy too to cut braid. Stainless steel so they're not gonna rust. Made in Japan, <laughs> check that out. Made in Japan. Made in Japan scissors, man. I don't think I've ever owned some made in Japan scissors. Either way, these are gonna be really handy when I'm out in the kayak. Cause I like to keep tools that are lightweight, simple to use. Thank you Digitaka. I am gonna put good use to this. If you guys are interested in buying these tools right here, I'll leave the link in the description below. You can buy it all from digitago.com. Once again, I get this is where I get all my JDM equipment, tools, braided line, baits, everything JDM comes from Digitaka. And this is the main meat and potatoes. Let me show you exactly what we got here. Once again, this is a Daiwa Steez CT SV TW 700XHL. This is the JDM Market Reel. This is in line with their BFS offerings that Daiwa offers to their consumers. So without further ado, let's, let's just open it up here. All right, typical Daiwa with the manual. 
And the paperwork here, we'll put that to the side, don't need that. Not really much in a box, except this little piece there. I'm not sure what this is, but put that down right there. All right, here we go. This is the main event, folks. Oh, I'm super excited. A nice neoprene case. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Holy smoke, look at those purple accents. This is the 8.1 to 1 gear ratio. So this is pretty darn fast. You can see the, the spool right here is not as shallow as the, the, the Air TW that I own, but it is really shallow. Handle is width wise, I believe it's 80 millimeters, just like the Steez Air, but the handles are a little bit more fatter. The, grip, the rubber grips, meaning, but man, it is super, super smooth. Oh my God, this is a beautiful reel. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, look at that braking, guys. You cannot tell me that is not attention. Look at that copper looking braking. Man, there's so much I really don't know about this reel. I need to do research, but I do know this is Daiwa's high-end baitcast reel. I think the highest or second to highest next to the Steez Air. Man, check that out. Made in Japan. These Japanese, man, they, they don't play around. Gosh, this is so small. I would say this is in line with the same size as the Alphas Air TW that I own that I absolutely love. The size and the feels, it almost feels exactly the same. But check that out. The TWS system with the, this is gold accent. I've never had a reel with gold accent like that. That's crazy. Attention to detail is mind blowing. Man, woo. Oh, it is very audible. The click, the release button, it's very firm, very nice to the feel. The drag clicks. Unlike the Steez Air, it does not click, but this one does have the clicking motion to it. Man, other than that, it just feels fantastic in my hands. Like I said, I'm going to pair it up with the x braid here, the 0.8. It's going to make a very nice pairing. I'm going to put this on an ultra light or possibly a light action rod, most likely an ultra light. I'm going to be flinging light action lures with this reel here. And since it's, the spool is not as um, shallow as my Steez Air, I can actually throw probably a little bit heavier baits, like maybe up to a quarter ounce uh, paddle tail with the swim hook. But other than that, it's going to be really really nice it's going to be a pleasure to fish with i already can tell and i can't wait to catch a big fish on it god those purple accents looks dead sexy wowzers all right ladies and gentlemen that's going to be it for an unboxing i really hope you enjoyed the fishing and a little bit of unboxing from my friends at digitaka once again if you're looking for a high-end jdm reel the same reels that I use on the channel, make sure you check out Digitaka. Don't worry because you'll never pay full price on the JDM reel. Reels, high-end reels like this Daiwa Steez CTSV TW. I am looking forward to using this on the channel. And if you guys want me to do a review, let me know in the comment section below and I'll, be, I'll make sure that I'll put it through the abuse of the Texas Upper Coast and see if we can catch some big old fish and give you an honest, fair review and seeing if this is worthy of putting into your toolbox or your tackle box rather <laughs> in your arsenal to see if you can catch some nice fish on some nice JDM reels. That's gonna be it guys and I'll catch you on the next one.